So now that we know what an index is, how to create and drop an index, and also what are the different types of indexes we can create in MongoDB. Now let's talk about covered queries and understand what it means. A covered query in MongoDB is a query that can be fully executed using only the index without needing to access the actual documents in the collection. This means that MongoDB can satisfy the query by scanning the index directly, which can significantly improve the query performance. So for example, let's say we have a user's collection where we have some user documents. Each user document has name, gender, age, and country field. And we also have an index on the country field of documents. So this index is going to store the elements. These elements are basically going to store the pointer to the documents in the collection. And these elements not only store the pointers, but it also store the values. Since the index is created on the country field, these elements are going to store the country names. Now, when I'm trying to fetch the documents from the users collection, where the country is UK, here I want to fetch all the documents where the country is UK. But if you see here, I have also specified a projection query. And there I'm saying that in the result, I don't want the ID field and I only want the country name. So for each document, we only want to fetch the country name. Other fields are not required. Now, this query, when it will run, since we have an index on the country field, MongoDB will first go to index, right? And from there, it will go through each element of that index and it will try to fetch the document from the collection. But in this case, since we only want the value of the country field, the value of the country field is already stored in the index, as you can see. So here, MongoDB can simply get the value of the country fields from the index itself. For that, it does not have to go to this users collection. This index can only give the value for the country field for each document. So this is what covered query means. Covered query means that the query can be covered by the index itself. For that query, MongoDB does not even need to go to the collection. I hope you understood the concept. Now let's understand it practically. So here, let's first go to the users collection and let's see what are the indexes we have on the users collection. For that, we can call get indexes method. If I press enter, currently we have these three indexes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this index, which we have created on the age field and this index, which we have created on the email field. So I basically want to start from scratch. So for that, let's say db.users.drop index. And which index do we want to drop? We want to drop the index, which we have created on the age field. And I also want to drop the index, which we have created on the email field. Let's check what are the existing indexes. So now you will see that there is only one index, which is on this ID field. So this index we can keep. Let's clear this shell here. And now I'm going to add a new index on the users collection, again, on the age field. So for that, let's use this create index method. There, let's go ahead and let's add an index on the age field in ascending order. Let's press enter. So the index should be created. Let's check that. Now you'll see that we have two indexes, one on the ID field and other on the age field. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to query the users collection and I'm also going to use this explain method because I want to see the stats here. So for that, let's pass the execution stats as the argument to this explain method and then let's call the find method and in the find method I want to filter all the documents where the age is greater than or equal to maybe 40 okay let's go ahead and let's press enter so if I scroll up you will see that here index scan has happened which index is being used 
the age one index which we just created and here you will see total docs examined is 4255 and total return document is 4255 and it took 35 milliseconds to execute this query now here the total docs examined is basically the number of documents which mongodb has to go through in the collection so first mongodb will go to the index from that index it will find a pointer to the document in the collection it will go to that document it will fetch it then it will go to the next pointer from that pointer it will go to the document to the collection fetch it so in this way in the index it found four to five five pointers and using that pointer mongodb went to the collection and it fetched those four to five five documents so that is the return number of documents so in this case mongodb is going to index and then to the collection to fetch the documents now let's go ahead and let's change our query so here i want to find all the documents where the age is greater than or equal to 40 but then i am also going to specify the projection query where i am going to set underscore id to zero so in the result i don't want underscore id field and i only want the age field so i'm going to set it to one to true here we are simply telling that in the result set for each document we only want to have the age field in the result no other field we want in the result now for this if we go ahead and if we run this query and we are also using this explain method for the execution stat if i scroll up now again index scan has happened on the same index where the name is age one number of return documents is 4255 just like previous query but the total docs examined is zero that means the result has been fetched from the index itself no document in the collection was examined here mongodb went to index from that index itself since we are only requesting for the age field the value is available in the index itself so since we only want to get the value of age field mongodb does not even have to go to the collection to fetch the document it will simply fetch the value of the age field from the index and it will return the document where we are only showing the age field and this is what covered query is now why are we calling this as covered query because the query is fully covered by the index itself mongodb does not have to go to the collection to fetch the data at all so if you can create such an index which can return you all the necessary data directly from the index then you will have a very efficient query and this type of index can be used in cases where your document have a lot of fields but you only want very few of them in the result set you can also use covered queries on a compound index so for example let's say in the result if you want name age and gender field only you can create a compound index using name age and gender field and then you can query for the documents from the collection where in the projection you can specify that you only want name age and gender field in the result so in that case also in the index itself all these three values will be present and mongodb can fetch all these values from the index itself it will not have to go to the collection all right so i hope now you understand what do we mean by covered queries this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day